Hello, guys. How are you guys doing? Okay, this is Bing from Bing Tag, and me and Jason here are going to make you guys a video talking about like how to replace the the, the wall pin on the S forty five systems. As you guys know, and uh, we sold like uh, more than like two thousand S forty five already, and uh, randomly we have some reporting about the slow leak. Actually, slow leak. What caused a slow leak? What should I do when I have the slow leak on my S45? And what should I do if I have to replace the wall pin? And today, <coughs> we're going to teach you guys both. So first of all, you see this screw inside. See this screw, right? This is the wall pin cap screw. Say inside, there's an O-ring inside, okay? The size is this. So <coughs> this O-ring and also the wall pin and the wall pin cap, the, the, the parts we put here is like, this O-ring is just like a tie on your car. It runs out if you run a lot. And you need to replace it. How to replace it? You need a tool, this tool, okay? Take the old one out, put the new one in. Then let's replace it and put it back. It should work. And check those <coughs> two O-ring cap. This is a new one. Smooth, right? And check this one. Right? So this one causes slow leaking too. This one, major part is this one. When, when it runs out, it causes the slow leaking. Here, the O-rings here. That causes slow leaking. So, and how to replace the, the wall pin, right? Because the whole system construction is just like this. Right? You know, guys, the run, 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 the scratch, the scratch, so it runs out. <coughs> and we are going to release the, the whole S45 maintenance package maybe sometimes this week. We're just busy on the containers right now. So the next part will be how to replace it. Many people want it. So now I'm going to handle this to Jason and Jason will show you guys how to do that. Okay, so let's do it. Always better safe than sorry, guys. Okay, so. First thing you need to do is weld the eyeglasses, okay? Always weld the eyeglasses. And the next step, we have the S45, okay? So degas it first. Make sure no air inside, okay? Degas it, you know, guys, you, you guys know, right? Turn the clockwise. Until all the air released out, yeah? <coughs> That's it. The next one, use the anode wrench. First, put the safety off. Yeah, and use use Allen wrench, one, two, three, three screws. Okay, so which one we should, I should use first? Remember though, you guys do need a MM, okay? MM Allen wrench. International standard. First, lose, lose this. Oh, this <coughs> make sure low pressure. You already take off the release all the air, right? <coughs> okay. And then release those. Okay. Next is very easy, actually, right? just said that's the ball pin screw right ball pin cap take that out and first of all <coughs> you need to check one thing is the o-ring on the cap right check the o-ring on the cap just put everything on the screw on the table this is a good gun so everything's still still new we'll just show you guys how to do that take the ball pin out okay now you can check one thing, check this surface. Make sure it's smooth. And check the O-ring, see if it's O-ring still inside, looks good. You can feel it is good or not, right? <coughs> if you have the actual O-ring, just replace it, okay? And make sure the spring looks shiny, no rusty, nothing. And make sure the wall paint looks good and touch, touch the surface. And you can, you can feel it. Right, it's, it's a smooth or not. Feel like this. This is broken. This is actually used one. Okay. Yeah. 
Put it for the spring in so you can tell. It's hard, right? So which means you need to be replaced. This is a new one, see? Okay, after we make sure everything's good, then we just put it back. O-ring and make sure the spring inside O-ring. And you don't need to put anything. Nothing, on this. nothing. And don't put any extra so-called sealed stuff, uh, glue or whatever. Nothing. Okay, make sure it's clean. If you have air pressure before you put the O-ring in, you can use high pressure clean inside the receiver. Okay, clean it. Use high pressure. Pss, 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 clean it. Okay, then that's pretty much it is. It's very easy, right? Okay, so this whole package will be available soon on the website. And, uh, hand tight, hand tight. Hand tight, okay, do not do not over tight it. Okay, then put the tank back. That's it, that's all. Yeah. When you put it back, just to ch check these two O-rings. You can manually, yeah, check the O-rings. Those O-rings will be in the maintenance bag too, okay? That's it. All to go, right? Very easy. Okay, I just make the video short so you guys can watch it. It's very easy. Lots of screws when you put on, hand tight. Don't over tight it. Don't over tight it. Okay, hand tight the screw and hand tight the meter gauge. Then fill it up. You're good to go. Okay, so that's it, buddy. Thank you, everybody, and uh, that's it. Thank you.